So I'll be working from home for the next month and I thought why not take this opportunity, gather my favorite spring capsule collection, outfits I plan on rewearing over and over again, and share with you different tips on how to look stylish for the spring season. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. For this very first look, I'm wearing this puffy sleeve Cinderella top. I really love the little floral embroidered detail on here. It's so pretty. These really funky high-waisted jeans. I love that each side is a different color. So I talked to Cher, I thought it'd be fun to play up on the sheerness of it and I went with these clear like Cinderella mules. back to my childhood especially during summer and going camping I remember a favorite activity of mine was tie-dyeing t-shirts we would create all these funky psychedelic colors and guess what it's coming back and it's coming back strong so you'll see tie-dye in hoodies sweatpants lounge sets but I wanted to elevate the look and I decided to find a tie-dye slip dress so this piece is extremely versatile I decided to just pair it with this sweater wrapped around my neck just because it makes the look more chic and then I wore these pearl headbands and my absolute favorite blue sandals so you can also also wear the sweater uh, over the slip dress so it looks more like a slip skirt. Or you can just wear it as is, it looks really sexy. I love me a great white yoga set. These pants are so comfy, I love them. They're from Fabletics and you guys know I exclusively wear Fabletics because they're the best. I wanted to show you some examples of athleisure, really comfortable outfits that you could probably wear just lounging around at home. On top, I'm wearing this loose cropped hoodie. Love this baby blue color, I think it's very spring. I have on my favorite Everlane sneakers. An easy way to take your yoga pants from daytime to nighttime or maybe to even brunch is by throwing on a blazer. So I love this one. It's my mom's. It's a vintage blazer. I love this minty green color. I can't believe I'm saying that because I usually avoid green at all costs, but this is such a nice shade of green. I swapped out my sneakers for these white strappy sandals and that pretty much completes the look. So I wanted to pop in this outfit for all of you ladies who are living in a cooler climate where it might still be really chilly outside with snow. So I'm wearing this puffy jacket from Fabletics and I have a thermal turtleneck on from Uniqlo. Obsessed with it, keeps me so warm even though it's such a thin layer. For jeans, I'm wearing these high-waisted jeans with this seam down the middle. And then for shoes, since it's pretty slippery outside, I wanted to wear a pair of lug boots. So these lug boots have a nice sole to them and I like the lace up detail on the front. We all need an Easter color coat in our lives, especially during the spring season. I love this pastel pink color. It's so fuzzy with the texture. So underneath, I decided to go with an all white base because the coat is pretty oversized. I wore these really fun acrylic earrings. with the coat buttoned in the front it doesn't look as great because it's so oversized and big on me so I'd rather have it opened up. I definitely feel like a fancy mom picking up her kid even though I'm nowhere near having children. <laughs> I love a great opportunity to dress up and I'll be attending a few weddings this summer so I ended up going to rent the runway and I found this gorgeous purple embroidered dress. Love the little daisies on here. So I ended up wearing these purple tassel earrings that I found in Japan. Love them so much, they're so cute. Some gold dainty jewelry from Goriana and this bracelet right here. 
I definitely feel like a princess right now. If you're not into renting, then this is a great alternative from Amazon. It's this tiered dress that I showed you guys on Instagram and in my previous video, and you guys seem to really love it. It's kind of a similar color palette, still has the same drama to it, and it's still wedding appropriate. I wanted to show you a way where you can layer your turtlenecks with a long dress like this so it can still stay warm. Wear thermal tights underneath of this dress just for an extra layer of warmth. So here's another way you can wear the dress for more of a vacation look. You can obviously swap out the heels for a pair of sandals and a straw hat. Wow, I love how form-fitting this dress is. Plus the puffy shoulders are pretty flattering in my opinion. I love the little like mesh detail along the dress because you don't really see any like lumps or bumps. So I love how versatile this dress is. You can wear it so many different ways. transformed my dress into a top and I decided to tuck it into a pair of high-waisted straight leg white jeans. I'm obsessed with these jeans. I got them at a Gap outlet and they were such a great deal. I just want to like scream it from a rooftop how amazing they are because they fit me so well. It's been such a challenge to find great jeans and honestly, if you can find a great pair, pick them up. tip is to wear a contrasting color so I love pairing yellows with purples Next up, let's talk about going back to school or working at an office. They blast the AC inside. This is just a nice comfy layer that you can wear over top of tank tops and jeans. The essential that I love is a cardigan and this one is color blocked, which is so fun. I know it comes in a bunch of different colorways and it's super affordable. So I'll have it linked for you guys down below. It's from Amazon. Neutrals, mauves, it's really soft, comfy. It doesn't have any buttons, so it's good for like spring, summer, when the weather is getting warmer. I've been gravitating towards more high shine materials, especially in tank tops and skirts. Add a refreshing pop of green into your wardrobe by wearing this little dress. I love this one from Hutch. Vintage silhouette with the ruching around the waist and then the smock neckline so you can also pull off the shoulder if you want to go for that look the brand is new to me i've only owned one dress from them from mod cloth a while ago i'll link it here i wore it to park winters for a valentine's day shoot i'm not disappointed it fits me really well i'm wearing a size extra small and i love the abstract faces on here bunny here. <laughs> I picked up this swimsuit with going to Hawaii in mind, but I don't know if I'll be going there anytime soon But hopefully once things settle down and it's safe again, 
I'll probably take this swimsuit outside. Maybe I'll just like sunbathe in my backyard. So I know there's been a lot of anxiety and worry about a certain virus, but I just wanted to remind you guys to be your best selves, stay informed, do your research before jumping to any conclusions. And with that being said, comment down below and let me know where are you from? I know I have a very international audience. I know some people have been laid off of work and I know a lot of small businesses are suffering. So try your best to support small businesses the best way that you can. Order Asian food because I know those are the ones that are specifically really struggling. A lot of places are closing down events. Follow me at Fashion by Ali or you could join me on TikTok which I just started last month and it's been so much fun and I love you guys and I'll see you in my next styling video. Bye!